Hi, everybody. I have had some beautiful, beautiful, warm, steady nights of 15 degrees Celsius. And that is my signal. It is go time for the Francis Fox. Let's have a look and see what is going on in that rhizome. I have Faisan here. I have pure bleach in this bucket. If we need it, cinnamon. I do not have my flamethrower, and I'm going to try and keep all of this as contained as possible because afterwards I need to disinfect everything, the stand, everything, even the hedge behind. If I go with a sprayer, if I don't go with a sprayer and just keep things contained, then that's fine. But it all depends on what I see here. And all this, normally I recycle, but I'm not going to in this case. It may be that I just have a weak Francis Fox, but it may also be that she is infected with the Fusarium. There's only one way to find out. And that's to get her out and to get the knives out and check her out. Lots of things going on with regards to figuring out <laughs> what the issue is here. So all the symptoms are there. Roots aren't growing properly. Growths start to diminish. I admit she did bloom here last year, but the next growth is smaller. Roots never made it and they blackened. I have another Francis Fox that is doing a lot better and that was in a weaker state than this one was when it arrived. So what I would like to do, instead of getting all confused about what is in the rhizome, I really would like to clean up the base first so that we can get a good view of it and not get confused by what is just brown, what is rhizome, you know, blemishes, etc. I want to know what is dirt as opposed to what is possibly fossarium. After which I plan to put this orchid into a copper-based fungicide bath. I've got it all prepared. The question is, is it worth it? But we're, we're soon to find out. There is a new growth right here. That could be the, its future. I'm hoping that you can see okay. Thing is, I don't really want to touch anything else now that I've started because of the infection rate, especially with my tripod or my camera. If I touch those things now, then we've got a problem. And I have to start seeing what did I touch? What did I wipe? And I've got orchids all around me. Okay, this is decayed. The reason I'm using pure bleach is just because the alcohol would have to evaporate and that would just take far too long. So let's go and have a look, see. There's no point messing about. I'm going to do a 50-50 split. <laughs> Straight back in. Oh, yeah. Purple is my favorite color on blooms as anthocyanin on leaves but not on rhizomes. There we go. Pretty obvious. Pretty obvious. You're not sure what I'm trying to say if you're seeing this for the first time. There's a clear purple ring around the rhizome. 
right. That's as obvious as I can show it. Well, we have our confirmation. There's that. Now the question what one can do is literally go and continue chopping away until you get into a clean part of the rhizome. But this part is has potential because it has two eyes. So I could work with this and see if I can give it some hope and some life. But wow. You see, sometimes the rhizome can just be brown because of the way the sheaths are all wrapped around. But in this case, with the sun on it, it is so clear, there's no need to guess. So I'm gonna put that piece straight into the bleach. Not that the bleach is my anti or my fungicide. I don't really want to be using my snippers on these, although I have bleach everywhere. So seeing as I used one pair of snippers, I'm just going to clean up these dead roots down here because you know what? Everything that's touching and has touched the orchid is possibly an infection hazard. I don't want that. Very, very sad. I was mentioning in the comments that I was going to either put this in a flamethrower and I send the ashes to Schwerter. I bet they have never ever had anybody send them ashes of their orchids. Rest in peace because of Fusarium. Clear as bell. So it was a losing battle um, all these years, but she did bloom. So here's what we're going to do now. I have a copper fungicide here. I don't know if it's too late for her. Seeing as the summer is starting, I have plenty, plenty of room for isolation. Don't have to worry about that at all. I also put my tag into the bleach. And with that, I'm going to try and see if this orchid can be rescued. After seeing this orchid for three years now, languishing, not growing, not thriving, I'm honestly, I'm only doing this because of the channel and the video. It could be of interest, it could be a learning curve. If it was just me and I wasn't making videos or anything, right now would be the time she would go into the bin. Well, bin, separated from everything, not into compost, not into recycling, nothing. Just separated from everything. Because this fusarium doesn't just affect orchids, it's, it goes and spreads into all kinds of crops as well. It's nasty, nasty stuff. I am going to get rid of these gloves, and then with clean hands, clear the table. I'm gonna wait about 20 minutes, and then we'll consider what needs to be done next. I'll be right back. Totally bleached, soaking in bleach, and uh, eventually I will soak the top of the support in bleach as well. And I just wanted to qualify, I've been saying I never disinfect my lecker with bleach or any other kind of additives, but this is a different case. 
This is not something you mess around with. So let's see if we can assess what we're going to do. So I did mention that I was with plenty of space now that the summer's come, I can isolate this orchid. Uh, I don't know how to express my feelings right now without going into some kind of a rant and rage. But Schwerter, if you ever see this video, I don't know if it'd be a good idea to contact me and take responsibility because this is not the only one. There were probably about 30 orchids, not with Fusarium, but weak, snapped, broken, no roots, not even an orchid to work with. It's just, yeah. So dear Schwerter, if you ever see this, maybe, maybe you do want to contact me and see what we can do about this. I'll give you a list of what I lost within the first six weeks. How about that? Hmm? Sorry guys, I'm, when I get mad, I go quiet because I can't take back words that would come out that I want to say, I can't take them back. And that is not just because I'm on video or filming. That is also life, a life lesson. I just can't take it back. So I just go quiet and I seethe. So if this is a flat affect, experience for you in this video, I do profoundly apologize. It's just there's been a big, big history of disappointments. And um, the question is also, why didn't I intervene with this orchid sooner? Well, first of all, when an orchid arrives, you want to get it established quickly, clean it up, leave it alone. And then orchids take a lot longer to show something is really, really wrong. Some things you can identify faster and intervene, any kind of pest issue, you can intervene. But the decline of an orchid, unless it's brown rot or black rot or any kind of rot that progresses super quickly, when it comes to Fusarium, it's a slow death. So you're thinking, I got this orchid in September of 2018. I was working with heat mats at the time and everything was establishing itself throughout the winter on very nice, cozy, warm mats. And then you look into the spring of 2019 and you see a new growth growing and everything is fine. And then you see that it's not going to bloom, which is fine as well, because it's a new orchid, just new to your collection. And then you see the growth going woody and deteriorating. And you think, okay, it's still weak. It's not doing well. Just giving you my thought process because a lot of people say, well, you should have looked at it sooner. So I'm just giving you my thought process. So the first year I was accepting these developments as part of the acclimating process and felt somewhat justified because the second year in 2020, this one bloomed, this growth. And there was nothing wrong. I couldn't see any sign of deterioration except when it came to cleaning up the base and doing the orchid root checkup, cleanup situation in 2020, I thought, okay, this is not what a root ball looks like on a Francis Fox after two years. And then you just wait. I also have the dirty lecker issue. So all these contemplations come into your mind and it starts a new growth and it looks great. It even starts to produce a sheath and there was something coming out, but it was doing the same thing as this one was with the woody kind of affect. It finished off being all woody and nasty. And then you realize that after three years, no, this is bigger and there's more of a concern here than just acclimating weak orchid and all those factors that you consider. And here we are three years later and suspicions confirm. But I just wanted to run that by everybody who want to explain that orchids, it's a long process. It's not always something that when you receive an orchid, oh, I'm going to check the rhizome for possible infection of Fusarium. It doesn't work that way, at least not in my collection. So let me qualify that again, at least not in my collection. But what I was thinking while I was waiting for her to finish soaking 
is that I am going to leave her on this tray, let her dry out well away from everything, and then we'll see what happens next. She's gonna wither up and die completely because I'm not going to be doing any kind of supplementation. Let me just maybe correct myself. I might do the leaf and the tea thing sporadically. If I think about it, it's not going to be a thing that I'm going to go, okay, every week I'm doing this, that. If I think about it, let me put it this way. But in the meantime, there will be another fungicide treatment, that's for sure. I will do that. That is our major concern, is the fusarium. I don't know if at this point I've soaked it enough, but fungicide will be a definite every, every week. I'll put that into my schedule and every week she'll get a fungicide treatment. With regards to the other treatments, calcium, magnesium, tea, seaweed, I'll have to wait and see how the summer progresses with regards to workload and the orchids that need my attention that are super healthy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it and I do apologize if I sound a little bit, there's a, a volcano bubbling inside of me. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.